And Mobile World Congress, Huawei wanted to show off the power of the Mate 10 Pro's NPU, that neural processing unit that is said to be able to handle AI. So to do so, Huawei proved that the phone can actually drive a sports car. What Huawei did is attach a camera on top of the Porsche Panamera that fed footage to the Mate 10 Pro's NPU. And from there, the NPU will be able to recognize objects such as, say, a dog or a person on a bicycle and react accordingly. I was fortunate enough to get a test ride in this Porsche driven by a Huawei Mate 10 Pro. So as you can, you can see right there, I had to start the program, the object recognition program. So from here, the Mate 10 Pro is getting setting the car into gear, and then with a press of a button, the car will speed forward. So this is the first trial run, and it's going really slow. This is maybe like 5 miles an hour, but the car, it's been driven by the phone right now. There is a person sitting at the driver's seat, but he's just there for safety. He is not touching the wheel, and he is, his foot is nowhere near the pedals. So throughout the ride, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro is scanning for obstacles in the road. So as you see right there, the phone just detected a dog. Obviously, that's not a real dog, that's a cardboard cutout of a dog. But the MPU was able to recognize the canine. So that was the demo run, so now let's go for the real drive. The Panamera is going to speed up to 48 kilometers per hour now. And as you can see, um, the car is going to turn left or right to avoid the obstacles in the road. So Huawei says it's not going into self-driving cars. It just wanted to uh, showcase the power of the MPU inside the Mate 10 Pro because other phones will not be able to process data this fast. 